many years ago when I first started coaching, I remember I had a coaching client and she was very negative. And every time I would try to get her to express something that she was grateful for or something that was working in her life, she could never come up with anything. Or she would start to say something and it would flip to negative. And it was so many things are going wrong and the world is against me. And it was just so much of that. And she basically said that she was coming to me to fix her and make everything okay. And so I had to stop her and say, look, this isn't a movie. (laughs) Nobody's coming to save you. You have to learn to save yourself. I can give you some tools and some resources, but you got to save yourself. And I think that's what I really want to talk about right now, how to develop a save yourself mindset coming up next in this episode. You're listening to the Grind and Gratitude Show. I am Danny Stone, and I've dedicated my entire life to helping people win, win in their careers, win in their businesses, and win in their lives. This podcast is going to help you get on your grind and hustle to create the life that you love and walk in gratitude along the journey. Each episode, I'll teach you tools and tactics and bring you conversations with experts that will help you turn your passion into a thriving online business. Life isn't about wishing for something greater. It's about making it happen. There's something special about you. Grind until you find it. Be grateful when you get it. Welcome to the Grind and Gratitude Show. If this is your first time tuning in, thank you so much. If you're an avid listener, then you know I got love for you, right? You know that, right? <laughs> Look, I'm so happy that you're here and um, I'm happy that you're my co-host. You're the, you're the ones that keep me going. You're the ones that keep me recording these episodes week after week. And I'm so excited when I receive messages from you about the different episodes or about what you're resonating with or about a new learning that you've had. I love hearing all these stories. I love getting the DM. So, so keep them coming. You can always send me a message on Instagram at I am Danny Stone. Now, before we get into it, I have to say this. Coach Stone is in the building. <laughs> I have to say it. Everybody expects me to say that. And uh, I'm Danny Stone, also known as Coach Stone, host of the Grind and Gratitude Show, author, speaker, transformational coach, so many other things. But what I'm really dedicated to is helping you to level up your life and your business. And what I know is that in order to get something different or to make something different happen or to change your situation, you have to be some, become somebody different. You have to think differently and you have to take actions that you probably haven't taken before. And, and it's okay, right? There's, there's this, this hesitation <clears throat> for change. There's this resistance to something that's new. It's just natural within us. But if you really want to achieve something you've never been able to achieve, then obviously you have to do something different and you have to think differently. Otherwise, you would already have what you want, right? And I think for so many people, we we have this not really a victim mentality, but kind of like we were waiting for somebody to come along and ch- and change things for us, waiting for someone to come along and give us the opportunity. We're waiting for someone to come along and fund our business, waiting for someone come to come along and give you the, the blueprint that you need to get out of your financial situation. You're waiting for the right relationship to come along so you can find that dream partner that you've always been seeking. Like you're always waiting, right? And we can't be waiting. We can't wait for somebody to come and save us. Life isn't a movie. No one's coming to save you. Let me say that again. No one is coming to save you, right? And so what you have to learn is you have to learn to develop a save yourself mindset. Because here's the thing. I was reading some article that said that if most people were given a million dollars, like most people who are in a financial uh, situation, whether they're in debt or they're struggling, if they were given a million dollars, that a year from now, they would be broke again. And it's because they haven't learned to change their mindset. 
They haven't learned to change their understanding of money and what it means and, and what r- different types of debt mean and all of these different things. And so it's the article basically said that if somebody who was, you know, in debt was given a million dollars, they could get out of debt, but then they would be back in debt within a year. And it's really about mindset. It's about learning to save yourself. Now, it would be different if somebody taught you how to make a million dollars and taught you who you needed to become to make a million dollars consistently and how to keep it and grow it. See that you see the difference there? You're learning to save yourself from somebody else. And so that's the mindset we, that we need to develop. And I didn't always know this. Look, I'm, I'm no expert with any of this stuff. But what I do know is this, that your mind is very powerful. The way you think is very powerful. What you see for yourself and your future and what you're currently creating is very powerful. And over the years, I've really learned to to change my mindset. You know, I grew up in, in low income housing and unfortunately, you know, I got arrested a few times before the age of 18 and I was hanging out with the wrong people, I was hanging out with drug dealers and people who were doing all the wrong things. So I started doing the wrong things and I realized living in low income housing and, and, and being in that situation, I just, I, I didn't realize it till later, but <clears throat> while I was in it, I didn't think that there was a way out. I didn't think that I could change my situation. I always thought that you're a product of your environment, you know? So I thought growing up in that environment, I'm just going to be a criminal. I'm just going to be, end up in jail or dead, like you know, many of my friends. And what I eventually realized is that nobody was really coming to save me. There was no person that was just going to come and, you know, give me money to get out of the situation that I was in or take my family and just move us from the neighborhood we were living in and put us in another situation. Nobody was coming to save me. And I had to learn to save myself. And that required me, required me to think about some things differently, to do some things differently, to be around different people. And that's what I want you to know. If you're having some challenges in your life right now, whether it's financial challenges or relationships or challenges as a parent or challenges with your your faith or whatever challenges that you're having, financial challenges, whatever they are, you have to understand this. No one's coming to save you. So you got to learn to develop a champion mindset. You have to develop this mindset where you really tap into the four things that we're all born with. And the four things that we're all born with is this. We're all born creative. We're all born curious. We're all born resourceful. And we're all born whole. You're not broken. And when you learn those those four things, you can really tap into your resilience. And that's what it takes to get through difficult situations. That's what it takes to change your life. You have to be resilient. But there's really five things that are going to help you to develop a save yourself mindset. So can I give these five things to you? Yeah. Okay. cool. Here we go. The first thing I've already said is this, if you wanted to, if you want to develop a save yourself mindset, you have to understand this one thing first. And that thing is no one is coming to save you. This isn't a movie. You're not sitting here waiting for the hero or the heroine to come and save the day and and scoop you up from the challenges that you're having and, and, and save you. That's not how life works. So we have to stop just waiting. Well, I just got to wait for the right time to to start my side business. I just got to wait for the the right person to come along who can help me, you know, figure out this financial thing. I I, I just going to sit back and wait for the right partner to come along. And when she does, then, yeah, I'll be ready or he does. I'll be ready. We're always waiting. We're waiting for something or someone to save us. And you are the hero. 
You're the hero of your own story. You have to understand that no one's coming to save you. And once you first understand that concept, once you understand that nobody can save you, nobody can fix you, nobody can get you out of the situation you're in, that leads you to the second thing. The second point is you got to save yourself. Once you understand that, then now you're saying, okay, how do I save myself? How do I start to get out of the situation I'm in? How do I start this business? How do I grow this business? How do I grow my career? How do I make more money? How do I become a better parent? How do I become a better partner in my relationship? How do I find a loving, meaningful relationship? How do I have achieve those goals that I've always had that I haven't been able to do? How? You got to save yourself. And so here's the steps that you take. The third thing that you really need to do to develop your save yourself mindset after you figure out no one's coming to save you and that you you have to save yourself is this. The third point, clarity. It is so overlooked. Getting clear about what you want in all of the areas of your life that matter. And it sounds so simple, yet hardly Anyone spends enough time on clarity and getting clear about what they want. And so what happens is you end up putting your time and your energy and your attention in all of these places, but none of them are either going to move your life forward in any way or none of them are are helping you to create the life that you want or become the person that you need to become. So you're running around doing all these things, keeping busy. You're, you're putting your time and your energy into all of these things. And then sometimes it might they might not even be what you want. Have you ever went and bought something because somebody else had it, but you really didn't want it? Have you ever moved into a neighborhood that you really didn't want to move in, but just because your friends or your family members were there and they told you you should move there? Have you ever taken a job that you didn't really want just because other people told you that that's what you should do? Have you ever studied and went to university and taken a a program and gotten a degree just to appease your family or your friends? See, we do so many things that we don't even want to do for ourselves, but we do them because other people tell us to do them. But maybe your heart's not in it. And so the most important thing that you can do is to get clear about what you want, not what other people want you to want. Get clear about what you want. And and, and you really have to spend time doing this. I see this so much with coaching clients and people that I speak to. They spend so much time chasing all of these things. Sometimes they don't even want them. And then when they do kind of finally achieve them, they don't move their life forward in any way because... They weren't even really clear about what they wanted to begin with. So if you really want to develop this save yourself mindset and move your life forward and achieve things that you've never been able to achieve, you got to get clear about what you really want. What do you want in all areas of your life that matter? Your health and wellness, your finances, your relationships, your spirituality, your personal growth. What do you want in all those areas? Get super clear, get focused, you know, start creating a vision board, you know, put things up on the wall, images of things that you want, images of things that you're trying to create that you want to achieve. Start visualizing, start seeing it for yourself in your mind. Get super clear about what you want. It's a must. That's the difference between most people and people who are highly successful because once they get they, they get so focused, so clear and focused on what they want, they don't spend a lot of time and energy on things that aren't aligned with what they want. Whereas most people are running around doing all these things and they're not even what they want to begin with. So get really clear about what it is that you want. Write it down. See it every day. Hold Put on, it up on, on the wall so you can see it every Let me single ask you day. A question. 
do you have a big goal or the fourth thing that you have to do is take massive action just once you're clear about what you want is there a big goal write down a goal make a plan just don't and start taking not a little bit of action massive action well, let so if me you want to lose 100 pounds, waking up every day that's called and get it you know, going for a five minute walk in that course, I teach is taking a little bit of action. To get waking up every day done. and going All for you, do is go to you know an hour jog is, is, is more action, it's massive get action. Right? It done. Or going to the gym for an hour and doing a hard finish. workout or getting a personal yeah. trainer. That's massive action. Most of us... Sometimes we, we, we wake up and we take the, a little bit of action just to feel good about ourselves. Oh, I put on my sneakers today, so I'm good. And I'm not saying that you shouldn't acknowledge that. I'm not saying that. I'm not, I'm not saying you shouldn't acknowledge the little things. But what I'm saying is, if you really want your life to be different, if you really want your di- your business to be different, if you want your relationships to be different, if you want to be a better parent, then you have to take massive action because when you take massive action, you're training your brain to push harder. And so those days that you, you don't really want to take action, at least you take a little bit of action. See, most of us aim, we set the bar so low that we trip over it and our life doesn't move forward in any way. So when I say take massive action, what, what are the one or two big things that you're going to do every single day to change your situation, to get you more focused, to get you closer to what you're trying to achieve. And when you actually think about it, there's always something you can do. Not everything requires money. And the things that do require money, there's ways to get money. Side hustle, sell some things that in your home, you know, become an affiliate where you sell other people's products. There's always different ways to get money, get a second job. And so we have to start programming our brains for success. We have to start reminding ourselves that we have an inner champion. We're not losers. We're winners. The fact that you wake up every single day is a win because some people don't wake up. The fact that you have people in your life that care about you, the fact that You have a way to earn money. The fact that you're eating something every day, the fact that you have a roof over your head, the fact that maybe you have a job, the fact that you have some source of income, the fact that you you just woke up and and you have your health, those are all wins. And they're all opportunities for you to do something different, to create a better life for yourself. So you have to learn to take massive action. Stop fooling yourself by doing a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Massive action is required. You got to go hard and and really dedicate time to what it is that you want. If you're trying to get out of debt, dedicate time to learning about money, learning about finances. Speak to a, a um, a debt counselor. There's so many things that you can do. If you want to learn to start a business, Ask somebody that you know who has a business or go online and follow all of these people who have successful businesses and and have programs teaching you how to start a business. Read a book about how to start a business. Watch YouTube videos about how to start a business. See, there's so many resources out there. We have to stop fooling ourselves and saying, oh, I don't really know how. There's so many teachers and mentors out there they te- that can teach us anything that we need to know. We just have to do the research. We got to do the work and then we got to do that. Take that massive action. It's not just good enough to have information. You have to put it into practice. So that's the fourth thing that you have to do. If you're really trying to develop this save yourself mindset and change your life and change your situation, you have to take massive action. And then the fifth thing you have to do is stay focused. Once you take massive action, you got to stay focused on what you want. And that may require you to filter out certain things or certain people because they're the ones that are trying to get you unfocused. And sometimes that's hard and and may be harsh, but successful people don't hang out all the time. They're not always hanging around people who don't believe in them. They spend time with with goal getters, G-O-A-L, goal getters. 
Successful people hang around other successful people. They're constantly learning and growing and pushing themselves. And they stay focused on what they're trying to achieve. They don't get sidetracked with shiny things. They stay focused on what it is that they're trying to do. And the same is for you. If you if you really want to change your situation, if you want to change your life, if you want more freedom in your life or more happiness or more joy or more time to do the things that you love, it's cool to get clear. It's cool to take massive action, but you got to stay focused. You got to keep learning. You got to keep growing, keep expanding what's possible and stay focused. While everybody else is going out partying, you got to be maybe you got to stay focused on your business. While people are traveling, you got to stay focused on your business. While people are out here buying new homes and cars, maybe you're not at that point right now. So you got to stay focused on you and what you're trying to do and not be concerned with what everyone else is doing. And I know that's hard. I remember when I had friends that were buying all nice cars and buying homes and I was still taking the bus and renting an apartment. And I used to look at them and I used to feel embarrassed and I'm like, man, you know, my friend just bought a new house or him and his wife just bought a brand new car or, or two new cars. And here I am taking the bus. Here I am asking to hitch a ride. But you know what? I stayed focused. I stayed focused on my business. I stayed focused on what I was trying to do. And years later, I ended up buying a nice car, buying a home in Toronto, Canada, in, in, in one of the most expensive cities in the world, because I stayed focused on me and what I was doing. I wasn't worried about anybody else. I was focused on how I could serve more people and how I could make money through serving other people. I started writing my books. I started speaking on stages. I started coaching people. And then my financial situation changed. My mindset changed. I started to become somebody that I never thought I could become. This really powerful, impactful person who believes in themselves. I never thought that I could be this type of person. I never thought that I could have a, an amazing relationship. I never thought that I could have these types of opportunities in my life where I get to travel to different countries. I never knew any of that was possible, especially not back when all of my friends were buying all these nice things and I wasn't, but I stayed focused and I stayed dedicated on my mission to become a transformational speaker, to become an author, to become a coach, to help people make more impact, income and influence. And I started seeing the results. So you got to stay focused. Don't worry about what other people are doing. Don't worry about what they're buying or where they're traveling to. Your time is on the way. Your time is now. You're building towards what you want, but you got to stay focused. You can't get sidetracked. Can't be hanging out all the time. You can't be feeling like you're in competition with the people around you. You can't be looking at social media and looking at that as real life and, and, beating yourself up about you not having what they have. You got to just stay focused on you, stay in your own lane, chase your own goals, your own dreams. Don't worry about other people. And I, I had to learn that. I really had to learn that because I would look at other people and I would say, well, why, why is that person on this big platform? Or how did, how is that person able to, to afford this when I can't? And I think I'm just as good a speaker as this person. or I think I'm just as good a coach as that person. Or I think my book is just as impactful as so-and-so. I had to stop that and really focus on me. And by the way, you know, when I was saying those things about other people, it was really a reflection on how I felt about myself. I realized that I wasn't where I wanted to be because I wasn't, I wasn't focused on that save yourself mindset. I didn't tap into my brilliance. I didn't tap into my greatness. I wasn't clear about what I wanted. I wasn't taking massive action. I wasn't focused. But once I aligned all of those things, that's when my life started to change. And more importantly, that's when your life's going to change. I understand life is a struggle. Sometimes it's tough. 
You know, you take one step forward and you get knocked back three, three more steps. And you keep saying, like, how is this happening to me? Every time I make a little bit of progress, things things come up and I get I get pushed back. Completely understand that. I get that. But you got to understand that your mind is powerful. You have an inner champion. There's something special about you. You're creative, you're curious, you're resourceful, and you're whole. You can get through any situation that you're in. You can create the life that you deserve. But you have to understand these five things. No one is coming to save you. You have to save yourself. You got to get really super clear on what you want. You got to take massive action every single day towards your goals and your dreams. And then you got to stay focused. Stay focused on what you're doing every day. Stay focused on where you're going. Don't get sidetracked by other people. Don't get sidetracked by other people's drama. Don't get sidetracked by this person has that. You just stay focused on you. And if you do these five things, you'll develop a save yourself mindset and you can get out of any situation that you're in and start to create the life of your dreams. So that's what I wanted to leave you with. I wanted to help you to understand that when I say that you have a champion inside of you, I I really mean that. And I know that sometimes it doesn't seem that way, but I want you to understand that it's not only a champion inside of you. There's this person that knows that you deserve more. Like, you know, you deserve more. You know that, right? And you know that you want more. So don't play small. You have to play big. You got to ask the universe for what you want. You got to ask big. You got to believe that it's coming. You got to take massive action and you got to receive it. It's called raise a bar, the acronym acronym I say, A-B-A-R. And when you do that, that's when things start to flow your way. The right people, the right opportunities, the right mentors, teachers, You start to realize things about yourself that you really didn't understand before. You start to step into this new version of yourself. And all of a sudden, things start to get better and better and better in your life until you start to actually create the life that you want. So that's what I wanted to share with you. I hope this was valuable. And if it was, please, please leave a review, a podcast review that would really help me out a lot. Subscribe to the podcast wherever you're listening and make sure that you share it with people that you care about. I don't just do these episodes to just hear myself speak. It's most of the time it's it's things that I'm learning or I've learned and 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 I feel like sharing with other people. And so that's why I do this. So I just want to thank you for being my co-host and I will catch you in the next episode. Take care. Thanks so much for being my co-host on this episode of the Grind and Gratitude Show. I really appreciate you. I hope that you learned something and you're motivated to take action and get on your grind. Didn't that go by fast? If you want more, head over to grindandgratitude.com for show notes and more information about this episode. If you enjoyed this episode, please go to iTunes and subscribe and leave a rating so more people will tune in. And let me say this. There's something special about you. Grind until you find it. Be grateful when you get it.